Chris Classic 2016 Uh, first of all, I'm a New York nigga New kicks, new chicks, and new fitty You could put me anywhere, I'ma kick it 125th G Depp, let's get it I hate when niggas say you make real hip hop I will still fuck your bitch in Gucci flip flops The problem is if I say anything intelligent You call it conscious like it's somehow not relevant I agree that this ain't really for KOD But say la V out the bows in the SUV On my way to the black Oscars The late Oscar grand is getting on it Somebody tell Ryan Coogler he's a monster And Magic and Jordan will be the sponsors The great Quincy Jones will pick the artist For the Robert Glasper ensemble Oh look it's the LeBron sipping on our mom With the Simmons and the Carters and Obamas Alright let me not get your hopes up The joke's up Got you niggas nervous like the ropes up Now I'm not as melanated as the greatest But I know chocolate Lugasa niggas who don't say this Who's the nicest nigga you know of? For every joint that he got, I make four of. Oh, with these 16s, I got more of. Sip something clean, go ahead and roll up. For all the women whose Uggs are not leaning, and drugs they're not fiending, and love they're not scheming from thugs that miss Yeah, treat. welcome to the Misfits and County Podcast. It is your boy, C.D. Trials in the house. I am joined by my guest host, who's been rocking with me for a couple weeks now, Miss African Pinup Girl. What up, what up? It's your girl, Ani, the African pinup girl, a.k.a. Ani Winfrey, a.k.a. Onda Rhymes. What's really good? Ani Winfrey? <laughs> when the fuck we had Ani Winfrey? Ani Winfrey. God damn. Pay Anna, attention, keep up. Onda, Ani, what's the, what's the, I call Onda you, Rhymes. I call you Von Zant. That's what we got, Ani Von Zant, beloved. Uh, I'll, I'll allow it, I like it. Uh, and then we got a guest. Beloved. <laughs> She's stupid. Uh, Jay Martin. Jay Martin. What's up? Yeah, it's Jay Martin. I wish I had a, like a long ass intro like you. That was I got to I got to write. You, you know what I'm saying? I'll be prepared next time. That, that was kind of cold. What's one AKA right I now? I wasn't prepared for this shit, my damn. You wasn't prepared. Oh, AKA man. the light skinned DMX. AKA. <laughs> the, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Not the light skinned DMX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep that one for now. You heard it first. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, make sure y'all call in. Uh, someone had called in before <laughs> the fucking show starts. So now's the time to call, bro. Uh, well, wait till we start talking about some shit. Call. Um, number is 678 740 9894. That's 678 740 9894. Please chime in. All yes. right, Jay. My man. What it do? What it do? Clap Where are heart. you from, Marcia? Man, I'm from Jacktown. Jacktown, Mississippi. Okay. Jacktown, that's what they call it? That's what they call it. Okay. So you don't want to find out why. I do. I do want to find out why. Tell us. Oh. <laughs> right. Tell us. That's, that's why. Hey, it's so wild. When I'm out here, they always like, oh, you don't go over there. That's dangerous. I'm like, nigga, I'm from Jackson. Like, hmm. I don't really be concerned. I mean, like, not that I'm concerned, but I'm very aware right. just because of where I'm from. Right. Nice. So, yeah. So, you, you do that. You, you don't worry about that. You live that life. You about that life. In another life. Cause. That's what you said. When I, when I was saying. I mean, because you look so mild mannered. So, don't let the look <laughs> no, spoil don't let you. Is that what you taste fool you. Don't let the smooth taste fool you. Yeah, really, it's, really, it's I sick. think it's the glasses. Because a lot of thugs can get away with the wearing glasses. glasses. No, you know, Khalil White, he said wearing glasses makes you look 30% less dangerous. So, I'm I really here that. to fool you. I really, I like truly that. believe that. I'm right? really here to fool you. And I did wear these it? to work. Mm. So, it's to make the white people more comfortable. Ah. That makes sense. What do you do for a living? Do we want to talk about that? Yeah. We do? Yeah. Uh, I work in corporate finance. Oh. So it's not like the oh. most exciting shit. He's smart. Which is why, thank you. Mm-hmm. I think she's flirting. <laughs> I think um, it's not the most I'm exciting not. thing. <laughs> it's not the most exciting right shit. Now. You know, you had to find some other shit to, to get into. Uh, How long have you been doing that? Man, at least four or five years. Oh, nice. Been in finance and banking and shit like that. Yeah, I'm in finance. You know, when you get a degree that you can't do shit with, yeah, hey. you like get some shit. And you like, all right, how do I climb this ladder? Yeah. I'm What'd you get? I'm degree? My degree is in business administration. Okay. Well, it's oh, a it's an right. economics degree with an emphasis in business administration. You can use economics in. I mean, for absolutely. What? To teach business econ? administration, absolutely use that. <laughs> to start a business, you getting taught business by niggas that don't own businesses. They're teachers. That's true. <laughs> like, that's true. That's with true. no businesses. They never it's apply it's that shit. the dumbest shit ever. But some of the teachers do and have businesses true. on the side. Some of, some of them do, but the ones I did. I yeah. And the econ people I had don't have no business. You, you know? They just be fucking work teaching in school. Like, I got associates or something. How you apply that? No, I got a bachelor's from yeah, Carl, I got a bachelor's. Atlanta. I'm See working you? on my master's right now. I got from now. Tougaloo College. Shout out Tougaloo HBCU Connect. In economics? What's your master's in, lab? Period. What's your master? Your master's in business administration. So he got an MBA. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, we say economics. Now you don't got an economics. Uh-huh. That's what we say in economics yeah. specifically. Not in numbers. It doesn't matter. He he studied economics no, with I that degree. Economics. I studied yeah. economics and I didn't need it. I'm PR. I got a <laughs> degree. I still gotta do it. See, that's what you I he got, wasted, he wasted his money economics. for real. He went <laughs> to school. You know you gotta do that bullshit A lot of us did. In, in, in whatever you're studying, what applies to that study? Yeah. I did. This was some shit they made me fucking take. You economics. Don't have to take it. I don't want it. It was stupid. I hate it. Micro and macro is stupid. To, Ooh, stats. You know, I mean, I use some of it now, but take it. stats, stats was the I worst class. Like, I want for that, but I had to take it. Yeah, I don't like that too much, though. I'm like, sir, I would like, never you use this shit. You have to do a, a residency at the hospital to get a psychology degree. Mm-hmm. I'm Facts. not trying to be a surgeon, but I got to take it. Exactly. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> so how long you been doing comedy, bro? Man, I'm new to the comedy scene. I just started in January. Okay. Like, for real. Was it a resolution for you, a New Year's resolution? Honestly, before the pandemic hit, I was planning on doing it. And then when I kind of worked up the nerve to do it, like, the world shut down. And we were Mm. more concerned about whether or not we was going to live. You know, I wouldn't worry about being funny. I was like, nigga, we're going to die. Right. Although a lot of funny shit happened during the pandemic, especially in the beginning. What's, what's one right. funny thing that happened to you? Especially with social distancing. Like, I grew to love social distancing. And, and I know that wasn't regular. Most people was like, that's weird. But I love that six feet distance. And I really wish that still was I feel like that left a stain on me. Like, nah, I don't like being nah, close back to up people. off me. Like, yeah, I already like, had that. Point, I already had that yeah. in my heart. So when they did the social distancing, I like, like yeah, you see, the, you see the marks on the floor, nigga. Back up. <laughs> Stand on that circle. You, you, see, the, you see the foot marks, nigga. Yeah. Right there. That's you. So, yeah. Why do people fight over toilet paper and shit? <laughs> oh, that's, that was no fun. Her Purell and, and Santa. Let me tell you, yeah. I figured it I out. Each other. I figured out why <laughs> niggas needed toilet paper. Mm-hmm. It's because tell us, tell us why. I figured it out. So because we were at home a lot more, mm-hmm. right? So when you at the office and you at your job, you're taking shits at work. When you taking <laughs> all your shits at home, it seems like you burning through toilet paper, but you really not. Right you now. just at home more taking more home shits. More home shits. More home based shits. I like so you're it. You're not comfortable taking shits at home. You're shitting work? from home. Oh, I shit everywhere. Thank you. <laughs> My man. Oh, so you don't, uh, you don't get shy at the workplace? Oh, no. Shitters. I just used the restroom. If I had the shit upstairs, I yeah. swear to you, we would have started this podcast a little late. That's what I'm saying. If I got a shit. <laughs> Lad would have been pissed. Lad said this shit would not start at all. I would have lit a match. You wouldn't have known. Talk about cancel. CJ, your show was canceled for tonight. Cancel. <laughs> If I gotta take a shit during the show, y'all gonna have to excuse me. I'm sorry. So you have no shyness. You know how it is when you at work. You don't want people to know your business. Did you? Do you bring your own spray? I mean, uh-uh. you have what, for what? Oh, you don't. You don't give a fuck. Uh uh-uh. We we all shit. That is what we all. True. That's what unites us all. That's so true. No you matter what, I mean? where we from, right? Yeah, you're right. We have no choice. We all right. shit. Ain't one people want to talk to you while you shit. <laughs> yeah. Why, you know, I don't have a conversation right no. now. No. So. Who's trying to talk to you when you shit? You never had nobody at a coworker look under the sink. Oh, CJ, what's up? <laughs> um, so, now that you, what do you think about the new boss? Like, nah. He ain't shit, but speaking about shit, can I finish? <laughs> so, he was over there taking the shit next to you, trying I to... I was in the toilet, he came in, and he saw my feet, because he ended up looking in the mirror day, and shit. And we had dressed down <laughs> day. I got distinctive shoes. I got distinctive shoes. saw them J's. And so, y'all don't even get embarrassed by stuff like that, right? That's, nah. Ladies will get embarrassed or something like that, but you, you would not. in the bathroom. Men has a thing nah, about Nah, you avoid eye contact. You can't talk. Okay. You don't talk to each other in the bathroom. Yeah, don't say nothing to me, please. At this the is... sink is when you can talk. Yeah. Nothing. If you even having a full blown conversation, by the time we get to the urinal, everything stops. Yeah. We don't talk until we get back to the sink or out the fucking door. And it's, it's no eye road. contact, right? No shit. eyeballs going None here shit. and there and there. No so, what happens if somebody's eyeballs start to like. Wondering. Wondering. You gotta look at the motherfucker like, hey, hey, bro, what the fuck you doing? doing? What if a nigga walk up to you in the urinal and say, what up, nigga, how you doing? There's no talking. Like, just, what if they don't know that? Who doesn't know that? A what if he's a un- foreigner? Unspoken, unspoken rules. rules. What if he's a yeah. foreigner? What if he's from a different country? Do they do it everywhere? I feel like that's a universal. Like is it universal? I, did, is it universal? I do feel like it's universal. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we might think it's universal and it's totally not. Yeah, you're right. You, you could be right. Man, fuck that. In America, you ain't talking to us. Whoever's looking at this shit. No, no talking aloud. No conversation. <laughs> yeah, At all. Know. What the fuck you gonna say right now with my dick on my hand? I'm big. What, That's what a weird time to talk to hey, somebody. Hey, what's up? Oh, huh? how's, it, how's, it how's it hanging? <laughs> how's it hanging? How's it going? In the water. Right. No, right? <laughs> what's up? Yeah, no, yeah, don't talk. You just all. make like weird conversations. So what inspired you to do comedy? <laughs> what inspired you to do comedy? Like, you know, who you have any influences? He's, he's funny. Like he thinks he's funny. Well, uh, I'm from Mississippi, and uh, like growing up, I wanted to act. 
Okay. Oh. You know, because that was like something I had access to. You could you could be in plays at school. You could you know film things with with a camcorder, whatever the case is. You know, um, if there was like a comedy club or if they were doing mics in Jackson at the time, I probably would have tried it like a lot earlier. Um, and I think I just been touring around. I lived in L.A. Um, in 2013, and I ran into this dude that was a comedian. I was like, Hey, bro, teach me how to write a joke. You know, because mm. I was trying to do it then, like, the, and that was 2013. Mm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's it's just been something that uh, if I never did it, it would have been like something that always. Negative. You always wonder if you could have done it. You know what I'm saying? So I just, man, I ain't trying to have no regrets. I mean, we almost died. We just had a pandemic. Yes, we did. I got the vid. Did y'all get the vid? No, I, I didn't. Caught you it. get the vid. I ain't never caught it. I caught yeah, it. Yeah, I got the vid. I got the December vid. The weak shit. Fortunately, <laughs> not the ventilator shit. Not the December one. <laughs> I got that weekend. Because everything too. died down. We took the mask off, then we caught it, right? I yeah. caught it after it was all said and done, too. When I thought I was like immune to it, I yeah. thought I was immune to it. So it's like when when something like I that happens, my blood type. you started you started evaluating shit. You mm-hmm. like, listen, man, the world could have ended, we could have ended. You know, yeah. there are people that have because a lot died. of people lost their lives. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So you know, you don't want to live with regrets. Mm-hmm. You know, so I just wanted to. At least so so maybe my... say, let me grab this mic, let me go ahead yeah. out here and get yeah. on the stage. I'm gonna either be good, decent, or terrible. And I feel like <laughs> I went to some mics and I saw some people that I was like, I'm funnier than that guy. Mm-hmm. That person's really funny. If I can fit somewhere in the middle. Like that's a good starting place, and I feel like I think I think I did, yeah that's where I was at when I started. I feel like so you have studied joke structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what would you like to tell people about joke structure? Would you like to give any information about that? Because I feel like a lot of comedians stop giving don't away the punchline. Respect that. Uh, stop some people the open okay. with the punchline. Stop being predictable. That yeah. That. Right. That's number one. Right. Exactly. And uh, that's crazy is not a punchline. <laughs> right. That's crazy, man. The other day I was, and then she had on the shirt inside out. That's crazy. <laughs> right. That's not a punchline. Hey, yo, line. that is not a punchline. Oh, you know what I'm That's saying? Not. I'm gonna do that shit too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, I'm killing time. You know what I'm saying? It could be your premise. You could you yeah. could set up a joke like that. And that's not me coming you know at nobody crazy? specific. That's not me right. coming because like, no, I'm still not. learning. You know, I'm brand new as far as I'm concerned. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. But I do study this shit, so I'll go like. I'll go do my time at a mic and I'll stay and watch everybody. Mm-hmm. You was about to do that the it's the night. respect. Yeah. That's the respect. Yeah, right like there. I, I study I like. this shit. I don't like know, people just I come and just better. leave. But it's okay. Yeah. I think people feel like comedians be like, if they near a mic, you ain't got to always touch a mic. Yeah. Sometimes it's okay no, that's just to true. be, just sit there and watch. Yeah. Be a be, you know, student or just be a fan. Yeah, but exactly. the hardest thing is when you're in a room full of comedians, them niggas don't want to laugh. They do not. Because they didn't literally stand to either steal your joke or they study your shit. So, mm-hmm. Or a little bit of both. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that's the worst part. Be like, God damn, this room full of y'all, I'm going to go sit my ass down with everybody yeah. else. Y'all ain't about to take shit of mine. Um, top five comedians, man. Dead or alive. Oof. Top five, top five, top five. Oof. Got Obviously. Your last money. Well, who you spending your money on to go see? Man, I paid. To, I saw Chappelle in um November, so I I will always pay to see Dave yeah, Chappelle. I've, been there before. That's a good I've tried experience. to get tickets to Dave Chappelle that's every single hard. time he comes yeah. in. It's expensive as fuck too. Every single this time. This is in no particular order either. Um, Dave Chappelle, mm-hmm. uh, Richard Pryor, mm-hmm. Eddie Murphy, uh, Martin Lawrence. Um, this is tough. Finals, the last guy. I know, right? Do we have a Cat Williams in there or like a? Honest, honestly, I was gonna say Jamie Foxx. Oh, okay. I, like I was gonna say He's Jamie one of Fox the because that's ever touch a mic. Because I mean, Jamie Fox is yeah. a treasure. Okay, I Absolutely. think that we need to appreciate that man now. Facts. You feel me? He Give is, his flowers. Please, he is one of the funniest <laughs> people. He can sing. Yes, he's so talented. He can do everything. Multi-talented. Great actor, and he's fucking hilarious. Like I that might, I might Ray. need security. Yeah. It was you like you a fangirl out. Hey, I no, I give roses. These is giving flowers. Ain't <laughs> he no said, fan, girl. Forget about the, yeah, no, he deserves it. He and look, and, and look, and he the type it. of nigga I am, I'm not a hating ass nigga. When I'm out at these mics, when niggas are doing their thing, I get them props because I'm not jealous. It's enough fucking funny out here for all of us. Exactly. Right? And it's a lot of like niggas that. with chips on their shoulders money. out here. I like that. Yeah. It's a lot of niggas with chips on their shoulder because like they'll see you and they'll be like, damn, he was funny. Like, let him go. No shine. No yeah, shine. Yeah. And that's some hating ass shit to me. And Stop I just, hating. I don't like that. Stop hating. So you gonna learn real quick. It's real clickish out here. I've noticed, Super click. but I, I I don't I don't belong to a clique. I don't really desire to belong to one. Should I? Should I? Because y'all been doing it longer than me. I mean, I'm not a part of no clique. Uh, I can't tell you. Be yourself. If you ain't gotta burn yeah. no bridges, don't burn no bridges. But if you do, fuck. let the talent. I think I'm, fri- I'm friendly. I'm friendly with folks and cordial and shit. But I ain't really trying to kiss nobody. Ass. You don't gotta kiss, to nobody kiss nobody. Ass. Let your talents be for exactly. so friendly. And, and you know what? You know how you saying you respect the craft. Continue to study the craft. I feel yeah. like that's it. That's what puts you ahead of other people. Period. Yeah. Facts. 
Hello, J P Pleasant or J Pleasant? What the fuck does it say? J Pleasant. J Pleasant, right, I think. See, what up, J Pleasant? What up, J? <laughs> I've been looking. So many folks have clicked. I've been looking. I see him Slick joining said, in. Talking shit. I saw. I'm just, I'm just Make sure y'all give a call in six seven eight seven four zero nine eight nine four. Join the conversation. We would love to hear your opinions. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so let's get in and get into a little of these topics. All right. Um, Gotta do honorable mention Kevin Hart. I respect that man. Yes. yes. That man. Listen, people. His list is like my list. People though. be Richard hating on Kevin Hart because they like he's, he's oversaturated. He, that nigga worked very hard to he get do. where he's at. Like he, he he should he shouldn't take the foot off the gas. And pedal. he was underdog status. Straight up. He was underdog. He had a everybody lot of, else come up. Like that nigga was in Soul Plane. He was in Paper Soldiers. Mm-hmm. He was in a lot of like which was a good movie. Thank you. <coughs> Shout out to The Rock. Shout Yo, out to Dame that was Dash. a movie he was in, Something Like a Business. Did y'all ever see that? I did. That was good. Yeah. What's it called? Something Like a Business. It was like one of the low-budget, low-black movies. Some I hate is when people... Uh, Clifton Powell was probably in it. You know that nigga signed I up I ran into that nigga at Whole Foods one day. Clifton Powell. The niggas in everything. Yeah, I love Clifton Powell. Shout out yeah. to Clifton yeah, Powell. Yeah, he doesn't say no to any script whatsoever. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter what <laughs> script it is. He's yeah. saying yes. Good shit. He's a solid ass dude. I love him. Shout out to Clifton Powell. All right. Uh... The TSA found a gun inside of a turkey at a Florida airport, and the state has now set a new record. Uh, Florida has uh, captured or withheld more than 700 firearms at all the airports across the state. What? See, so he wrapped it up in a turkey? Yeah, just put this tough little motherfucker right in the turkey ass. Right in the gizzard. So yeah. instead of stuffing, he was trying to play for Thanksgiving, like bring the thing. Yeah, like, he bring that gap. What he bring the hell? That glock. What you thought this was? Oh, it's. Is that real shit? Was it a frozen turkey? What was the turkey? You can take turkey was through the airport. Yeah. That's ridiculous. I didn't even know you could take turkey. <laughs> you don't like an airport, the turkey. like a live or you like put the motherfucker underneath, I guess. You see, what type of ghetto shit is that? What? Who hey, was this to bring a turkey? That was a setup. Who the hell was this? And shit? That was a fucking setup. This is Florida. You got talking about? I didn't even check the turkey. I don't. I don't know what was it. That I, ain't I, even I, my I, turkey. I thought it was stove top. But the whole time, I thought it was stove top. <laughs> I, I, I never gizzard. checked. I never the seen that turkey. Before. Right. This that ain't no gizzard. This ain't no fucking gizzard. Familiar to me. Okay, that's an unfamiliar turkey. I don't know what the fuck. Your mama going there trying to get turkey next year? I'm gonna shoot the motherfucking house. Man, what type of ghetto ass shit is that? It's Florida, man. You know how Florida gets. Florida in the weird news. Florida. Is one of the oh, most that's one of those like drug trafficker sources. moves. You know what I mean? Like when yeah. they mule, like they be like, "Hey, it's a nigga smuggling a gun in turkey right now." They get <laughs> right, now. Pounds. right now, <laughs> right and now, and then they and then they run past exactly. They like what they doing over there, pushing the yayo through. God damn. Yep. A free, f- free them. They innocent. A freaking turkey. All right. They got the U.S. <laughs> <A> freaking turkey. <laughs> the U.S. Air Force said a U.S. military plane did not intentionally draw a penis in the sky <laughs> with the tip point directly at the Russian air base. Hey, yo. <laughs> Last week, a KC-135 Stratotanker aircraft flew a penis-shaped flight pattern that t- had to take it off from Cyrus. A so, penis pattern. So when you watch the pattern uh-huh. of them flying, yeah. it's literally shaped like a penis with two testicles, and the tip of the plane at that point is facing directly at Russia. And the pilot claimed he didn't do it on purpose. Nah, but dog, dog, you had to. Now, shout out to his creativity. Shout out to his you artistic to. ability, is, okay? Shout out to you, penis pilot. I mean, it was you <laughs> who did that. It was hey, man, you. in his defense, I have drawn that accidental penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wow. So, I'm a super bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about he has, he has drawn an accidental You know, people like, draw accidental you know dicks what? all the it time. Happens. You know, it, it, it happens. I, it I was doing my things. signature one day and it just looked, I was like, those that, that are balls. A dick. Yeah. A dick and it balls. Happens. It happened to you. These I saw, what, hey, when I saw the dick, no. I was like, I could be a pilot. <laughs> That's what it was? <laughs> never That's happened not. to me before. Yeah, I'm I've sure never, he had sheer joy finishing drawing that penis. Drawing out of my shit. Because it was talent. Because imagine probably, how long he's known did how to it. do that. You know? They probably like reprimanded him or deny him public but give him props behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know what his ethnicity is. Like, hey, bro, you're going to get us fucked up, but, like, good job. Good right. Job. We, we love the penis that you did earlier. Focus more on the balls. Make it a little You should put some skeet. Like, he should have. <laughs> he was really in the cockpit. Okay? <laughs> get it? Okay, he was in the cockpit. But, yeah, honestly, that was talent. Get that man his props. For real. The penis pilot. Yes, absolutely. Um, what else we got? We got a teenage thief, 17 years old, mm-hmm. knocks himself out by running into the glass door as he tries to flee Louis Vuitton store. With eighteen thousand dollars worth of handbags, and runs into the door. They have them on camera, just snatching shit, and you know, you know, it's kind of like how it is up north. They can't really touch you because of the COVID shit, but they keep going, and they watch mm-hmm. him steal it, 
and the security guard watch him run right by, and the stupid ass runs right into the fucking glass, knocks out, and then the security guard arrests him. Yeah. He earned that. He can't touch him at that point. He earned that. <laughs> He's running full steam, too. He is that glass. Listen, I, I respect a smart criminal, but if you run into the glass, my nigga, you, you deserve your fate, bro. You earned that. You do. You, you earned that. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, you do. Because how did he get in the store? He walked in. So that means he knows him. where the door is. Yeah, he knew where the door is. Right. Open. But those types so of stores. So you knew it was a door that you knew it was there. Right. You knew it was there. Push, pull, or automatic open or some shit. <laughs> so, so you're being ridiculous. Yeah, you, he earned that. He should have somebody look out for him or something. Like, yo, the door right here, my nigga. Damn. Let me hold Let me hold the security. Let me keep the security guard back. Something nigga, you did solo door to snatch the bags. And they watching you snatch the bags and you run right into the door like an ass. I respect the ambition, but what happened to the good old days when niggas would just snatch a laptop out of Best Buy? You know, you got space. They was doing that That's shit. the good old days. Time you know, there's a lot of that shit. Is, a lot of shit's hooked up. How the fuck they were doing? They still all do that the snatch and you, if, you if you yank yeah. that shit hard enough, they still do that. It's coming off. It's oh, coming off that they charger. They pull phones off the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Let me fuck. I actually that? like seeing those you videos. You live in Douglasville. You're so safe. They got a Best Buy out here. I just want to know what so the fuck safe. was the shit. No, it's not. Where, I, I'm I in the hood. Here. I don't know where you at, but no, they shoot out here in our place mall. They be getting popping. Yeah. They they get alive. See it's it, see the people the people who are gonna talk about the story afterwards. That's really the embarrassing part. The boy is seventeen. He gotta he gotta let everybody okay. talk about he him. Wasn't the sprightest kid. Yeah, it was just. Oh, you don't, you don't, you don't get lit up in jail. You gonna take care of him. What you mean you gonna get lit up? They gonna take care of him. Man's butt. Yeah. There you go. There's a penis. A couple penis pilots yeah. in jail. You're <laughs> no, stupid. Gonna break his they, ass in. they gonna draw a dick on him. Yep. They're going to draw their dick. <laughs> fastest draw <laughs> in the West. Draw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you work yourself. You know, you know they're going to draw that shit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So. Take so, 10 wow. paces and spin. <laughs> Watch out for the glass door. That's exactly what's going to happen. That's exactly what happened. Oh, man. Hot ass mess. So Adidas agreed that they will continue to sell Kanye West mm-hmm. shoes designs without Yeezy's name on it. We knew that. They said fuck We you. knew that. You already gave us the next couple of designs for the next three years, nigga. They're going to keep coming out. Calling them shits Easy Peasy. <laughs> they should call it some shit like that. <laughs> Sleazies. It's over with. Sleazies. Man. It's just ugly. I never like not one. Yo, them shits are so one. ugly. And the kids at school like, wear them. They love them. It's, like a, it's a thing. It's really a thing. I hate them. But they're so the ugly. The wildest part to me is like, uh, it took Adidas so long to decide to drop him. He like begged to be let out he of the did. contract. And he, he did. provoked them to Is let him out, right? Is that why he did that? Because yeah, I think, I think that 100%. last speech was nah. so... He, he said, I can say anti-Semitic things he and they and they can't did drop say me. That. That's, a, that's said, a provocation. That's he said a, it again, that's too. A, that's and a, I can yeah, say nigga, anti-Semitic do things and Adidas won't drop me. He did say right? 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 He said it know, again. But he didn't expect Boston, uh, uh, Balenciaga and all the other ones. He just felt Adidas. Uh, he wanted out of all that shit, You know, I'm going to come and yell your ass, too. But when they released their statement... Do you know that it took them a couple of days to release it? And when they released, they were like, yeah, we're going to let this nigga go, but it's going to cost us X amount of money. Nobody else said that shit. They just was like, hey, we're ending effective immediately. Right. Then niggas was like, hey, this was. It's $300 million of royalties. It's a cost. financial. They, they lost. He lost $1.5, but they also lost $1.5 right. in mm-hmm. revenue. Right. I mean, How much did he lose in that one day? They oh, that one day was, yeah, he lost like But it's all like, like I, a, honestly, yeah. it's all fake. Like, these are just it's numbers in the computer. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, like, he his day-to-day didn't change. Like, let's be real. He's still Kanye West. But just his net worth changed, right? Fuck a net worth, man. Whatever was in the bank was in the bank still. But his (coughs) net worth did change. A lot. A lot. And I'm sure he took a hit on his ego. Right, exactly. (laughs) He won't be exactly like, yeah, hurt the homeless. But we know that hurt his ego because we know that Kanye is attached to what he has, his money, his reputation. So He can't do that. I'm the richest nigga in the group chat. Right, he can't do that. Like, did you see, black nigga, listen, you know? I don't like this right. Shaq and all of them niggas, like, came at him kind of crazy or whatever. <laughs> but, uh. Kyrie, they came at Kyrie, too. But did you hear the little, uh, Shaq was like, uh, the once great Kanye West told me don't listen to somebody broker than me. Yeah, That, I that was the ultimate wow. snapback. So, Duwan says, the most hypocritical thing is Adidas, yes. is Adidas is a German company. Huh. And they got an affiliation Supposedly with Supposedly they had something to do with. Yeah. They right? outfitted them. Right. Oh, that's what it was? I feel like they did. Like, them and Mercedes. Uh, they gave them fresh Adidas to march in? <laughs> I didn't realize the Nazis Hitler? had fresh Adidas. They had shell toes to march in. Shut the fuck up. They were still making shit. I, I had imagine, no idea. Imagine the, the Nazi shoes for the war. Yeah. Yeah. Shell toes. But imagine somebody that supports somebody that supports Donald Trump, Trump right now, right? Mm. Uh, imagine you learn 50 like years it? from yeah. now, that's going to be the same equivalent. Like whoever was just running Germany at the time, it was like shit. We German, we rocking with these, mm-hmm. right? right? So who all these like? Because 
half of the country voted for Donald Trump. Let's keep it a buck. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Some of them are billionaires. A lot of them are billionaires. Right. Elon Musk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, they don't really get along, but. Yeah, yeah. I got something about his ass, too. He, he's a dumb motherfucking crazy. Man, uh, y'all on Twitter? I'm I not am. on Twitter. I am on either. You gonna pay for the blue check? I'm only for the porn. I'm about oh, you to gotta pay right for now. it now? Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to talk about it right now. I have not seen no porn on Twitter. What? He, this is the yeah, most nastiest you man. You do not. Of let, course he let, me, let me put you on game. Send me a link. I will. I will do that. <laughs> you, I will send I'm you. Doing it for research. Oh, research. <laughs> just research. Just research. <laughs> Are you on Black Twitter for what, nigga? I'm on Black Porn. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm, I'm on there, bro. I'll send you, I'll send you a couple of links. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I will make sure. I will make sure to get you educated. But what? speaking of Elon Musk. Yeah, you switched that Musk. subject quick, nigga. I noticed that, but we ain't gonna say nothing about. We ain't gonna say nothing about that. I have no problem saying you, you, it. You, Elon, you don't fuck not, with my porn, You did not want to say nothing about it. All right. All right. It's going to be subscription-based. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So he won't mess with it. Okay. Uh, I like that. I like that. $4.99 uh, a month going forward. Elon mm-hmm. Musk will allegedly, uh, allegedly require non-binary journalists to pay $16 monthly fee hey, instead yo. of standard $8 for verification <laughs> because they identify as multiple people. No! Uh, but their staff on the low... Behind the scenes, or selling checks for fifteen grand. <laughs> so while he's saying, "Hey, you want to rap? You want to be a he, she, it, they?" All the people deserve to be paid dollars a piece. They all deserve it. It's the shade. And, and the people behind us are like, "Y'all niggas really want the check? Yo, know, come holler at me for fifteen stacks real quick. I can get you a check real wow. quick from the back door." Is a non-binary considered? Why would I pay fifteen thousand when I can get it for eight? Eight dollars. Eight thousand. And at first it was a dub, but then I think like Stephen King or somebody pushed back, and he was like, "How about eight dollars to this other millionaire nigga?" Like, what? Is that what happened? Yeah. Stephen King was like, "Fuck you! I'm not paying twenty dollars." And then Elon was like, "How about eight, my nigga?" Right. (laughs) He's not hurt. Let's be reasonable. It's less than ten. Right. It's a middle ground. You know. That's crazy. Fuck. But imagine that you want to, you want to say, "Yeah, I want to be able to have my pronouns." And I'm like, "All right, cool. Eight, eight, eight. You gonna pay for all the pronouns?" Yeah. He, she, them, it, them. I'm just a regular <laughs> cisgendered woman. I'm boring. Do you think because you're, we, I'm assuming that we're all, I'm just kidding. We're all <laughs> cis, <laughs> cis <laughs> folks. Right. Is, is that why we don't care about titles. pronouns? I, I think so. I and plus, outside. well, we're from the old school. I don't know how old you are, but I I'm certainly don't care nothing about no pronouns. Do you? At all. Maybe try to make them put that shit on my email. Like, yeah, I'm good. I know who the fuck I am. I know who I am. And if you confuse about who you are, I don't even want to date you, talk to you, none of that. I mean, I think it's a blessing that, that, None of us are confused though, because like I couldn't even really fathom that. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? That like identity crisis. Or even with what? our kids, like Dwayne to, Wade and with his daughter's son, with his daughter. Yeah, so why his ex wife suing him? Yeah. I know because she's about my, something wrong with her. Talking she, about he trying to get financial gain off of that. But From Disney. What? Disney. Uh, hold on, allegedly. <laughs> shit. We talking about the things that's been in the news. <laughs> but yeah, she's saying that that Disney's trying to holler at D Wade for. For his to change, and he just wants yeah. want to petition and say, "Wait till he's 18, because he's only, she's oh. only 15." I'm sorry. Right. She's only 15. And then the question is, do you wait? Do you make your son or daughter wait until a certain age before they're able to express themselves and they want to be a different, a you different don't want gender? Chopper's you know, remorse. is that something? Oh, not cho- not Chopper's remorse. He's, that's what he's trying to do. He's not trying to, <laughs> trying to chop that motherfucker. <laughs> do you know? Off. Do you know that yeah. that Dwayne Wade's daughter? It starts name with a Z. I don't right. remember. Yeah. Is dating a, a trans man, male. See, and this is where the confusion comes in. Right? Yeah. yeah. You're dating yeah. a trans man. You're a trans, trans woman. woman. He identifies as a lesbian. You identify as a stud. Like, what What the hell is going what on? What a time to be alive. For real. Allegedly. What a time. Purportedly. Because, you know, we can't. Purportedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Lab is looking at me crazy. Allegedly. <laughs> But all the views expressed on this, <laughs> on this, on this, this, this comedy are strictly those of African pinup girl. <laughs> no affiliation with Misfits Media Group or Misfits That's Media absolutely Group true. LLC or Misfits Radio and TV. Said all That's right. Say all, that. All, 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 all defamation that. lawsuits to her and her uh, Instagram. Thank you very much. Not the lawsuits to me. <laughs> yes. I, I mean, do you know Disney going to pick that shit up? You know, if that's the case. They can't wait to have Disney a Disney was volunteering to pay for the, the procedure. You know, they, they talking about, oh, wow. as soon, if it happens, when it happens, you got a show coming. Wow. Are yeah. you serious? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, come on. If Disney picked that up, you already know what it is. Come on, you got Raven Simone. You got, they gonna try to, they try to build this thing. But did you hear about, it was, a, it was a, 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 a trans person that transitioned from female to male mm-hmm. and did it when they were younger. Yeah. And 
regretted it mm -hmm. and sued the surgeon. Mm -hmm. I didn't get about that. Said, well, why, why was he suing? What was this? What was they like, expecting to do? Talk them out of it? Ex exactly. There's supposed to be like a vetting process for like body dysmorphia and things like that. It should be. Yeah, I think I they know, have to stick therapy. with psychologists. It's therapy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah, psychologists. They do that shit for, for, for when you lose weight, right? When you get this, just to lose weight and get a sleeve and all okay. kind of shit, you do have to talk to a therapist for like 90 days. Because they don't want to make sure counseling? it's like body yeah. dysmorphia. They want to make sure it's genuine. So whoever evaluated this person obviously thought it was genuine or maybe it was a money thing. You know what I'm saying? It's always a money thing, right? Um... I'm sure they get broke off from the surgeon because those are—I don't imagine those are expensive, uh, cheap. Uh, those are very expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Having so. your parts reassigned. Yeah, that's what you would call it. From you, from you, on you to the floor. Yeah, that's what okay. you call. That's reassignment. And there's a lot of that because I'm on a little girl. I'm on a girl site, like the little lesbian dating site, and it's a lot of men on there, like trans. There's a lot of. On the lesbian side? Yeah. There's a lot of regular men who are just obviously men, which I don't understand why they're there. And then there's a whole bunch of trans. So the regular men the regular men try to try to hope y'all fall off the wagon. <laughs> I get that part. You don't fall off the dick wagon. This, this I get that part. Dick wagon. That right. Today might be the right, man, <laughs> right. Hey Pat, you want this real dick, don't you? Right, you want right, that real right. vein, don't you? But as soon as I swipe it, I'm like, uh, this is a whole grown man. There are, some, a, there are some men. Dress. There are some men. There are some men. He said that, his penis. That Play, fucking bitch. Up. Whole grown man. Just. I just feel that we're gonna be like, yeah. Yeah, come on. There's some men that like stud women. True. There are dudes, you feel true. me? Like, and I don't know, it, like, it, that just, mo is that weird, though? Some gay guys do like I, that. Look, I, no, I, I'm talking about heterosexual yeah, men. Yeah, I mean, I've oh, been in moments where I'm That's like, a new one for me. You mean yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah, because there's a bro. one guy who sent me the videos all the time, and he looks at studs, and he's like, yeah. He's funny. Because it be studs but with bodies. But there are some pretty ones. I ain't going to lie. Studs be having bodies. It's a problem. I've been at a Foot Locker. She's still a woman. I don't think I told you a story. I was at a Foot Locker, and she ain't look all at the face, but then she had been down and tied shoes. And, and it was that ass, ass, though. And she had red thongs. And me and the dude... She had on a thong. Yes, yeah, so me and the dude looked at each other like, what the fuck? She ain't no stuff. I was going to say, no homo right now? Look, <laughs> I'm looking, I'm staying. And she stood, she's like, what you think? I look in these shoes real quick. And we looking like... Yeah, what kind of shoes was it? Yeah, we don't even forget. I'm thinking about a fat <laughs> ass and these red thongs. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? See, studs have changed because they didn't used to wear no red thong. Yeah, that called me all all that. Like it was it, it was a boy brief. It was a boxer short. It was short. no brief. It was a straight up thong. She had sweat song, gray yeah. sweats. I remember like it was yesterday. You saw the print in there? Was the print there Man. too? <laughs> she had cheeks. She was cheek double cheeked up. Huh. On a Thursday, yeah, she was she was right. She had a book bag with her? No, she had no book bag. She, she wasn't probably a real had, stud. She probably had somebody stud. held it. So she when you saw this stud in the red thong, did that make you sign up for this site? So did you see him on the site? Right. I ain't see CJ on there. He's trying to find. He's looking no. for that foot locker. What? And I bet not see your ass on there either. I won't be on there. <laughs> <laughs> I bet not see your ass on there at all. What? <laughs> There's a lesbian dating app? Oh, plenty of them. What's, what's, what's the one you on? The one I'm on right now is it's called Her. Her. Oh, yeah. man, no thought into that shit. God damn. Let's laugh. What's the other one? Don't, don't worry about it, lad. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> Nah, we don't need no more men on there. No more trannies. I'm good. And I have nothing against trans people. I just personally don't want to date one. Oh, you don't want to be surprised? Like, then uh, again, titties in the dick, that might be a surprise. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that might be something interesting. You can go to like Bangkok or wherever that shit. Right? Banging yeah. some, bang some cock. Yeah. <laughs> Thailand, yeah, yeah. Banging some cock. Yo, that's the sexual tourist thing. That's where sexual tourists go to have their little fun. I'm good on that. That's where Jared from Subway went. Damn. Nasty at, yep, he yeah, was nasty. there, purportedly. Well, he in jail right now, he can't see shit, he getting dick in yeah. he, he's taking 12 inches to the face right now. Sheesh. And we talking about a foot long sandwich, <laughs> that's what we talking about, tuna. Right. Yeah, sure. With cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting the yeah. brownie, he's getting yeah, brownies right now. The whitest cheese, the whitest <laughs> cheese, the whitest white, the whitest cheese for white people, right Swiss cheese. <laughs> It's getting hella brownies right Man. now. I don't ever want to eat a hoagie after this conversation. <laughs> just two pieces of flat bread from a loaf. No, no filling, please. No, no filling. just no. No glizzies. No, no glizzy shaped uh, foods, please. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, a woman on social media says um, she likes to be gang banged mm. and ran a train on. Oh. It makes her feel like she's being her body's being worshipped because she's a goddess. Hmm. A goddess. I say. Yeah. Well, bitch, get rotisserie then. Why don't you? <laughs> get rotisserie. That's then. what she likes. She said, and she said it with her chest too. Yeah, she said it with purpose. She like, said, I, 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 I
I want motherfuckers to run they train on me because I deserve it. I'm a goddess. It's a treat. It's a treat. She want these niggas to glizzy on her. Huh? You know, turn uh, to a toaster strudel. <laughs> Why, <laughs> <by Astro Tursa Street. laughs> Not a toaster Street. Wale got a line when he say, uh, "The neighborhood roller, her mouth was an orphanage." So it's like, oh, I like that. That's oh, a, that's a bar. oh, that's a it's bar. literally a bar. Oh. So when I saw that video, that lady, I immediately thought of it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like she, that's how she views it, right? And isn't it how you view like the the treatment you receive? And so it's about where you take it. Like I could be like, "You look like X, Y, and Z," and if you like. You. And I could mean it for a fucking insult, but it's about where you take it. Sure. You feel me? It's perception. So like, how you feel about several it? dicks clapping on the cheek. I was about to say all the trade. You know, mm-hmm. she. I don't remember her feeling worshiping. But she, you know, she like, worshiping this like this is love. Pop pop. Right. That's what yeah. she likes. Yeah. Dicks to the face. Dicks to the face. Plenty. She needs a TED talk. In and around her asshole. So she that's her spot. Talk. Yeah. Plenty. Can you imagine when she's forty-five and has us be like, Stretch down. yeah, this is my girl, and then go on board the neighborhood be like. Yeah. yeah. Ours too. That's yeah, community. Like, that's community man, coochie. <laughs> that's definitely community coochie. All day. She we proud of You know, everybody want to talk about therapy these days. You need to get that one of some. I bet you that is her therapy. Dick, 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 dick to the face is Dick the sessions. <laughs> Getting dickmatized. She enjoys it. Sex sessions. Mm. Sections. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> but she's going to have to meet curtains. Jesus. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's going to. Cool. I mean, that's a, we're, we're mm-hmm. assuming she don't got them already. True. That's a good point. True. She, she, she's been ran through. That's what but, the caption said. But why, been ran why is it not okay right. for this woman to enjoy several thick meats? We just say thick. See how you see <laughs> on her sides? Her, you just had it on her just, platter. She just had a fucking moment. <laughs> like, why? why? gotta be thick? We just say they was thick penises. We just said she's taking dicks. Why, why you where you go? Thick? Yeah, where you went? Where your mom went? Listen, huh? why can't she have what she desires? She's getting it. You sound like you desire it. It's right the now. judgment. Who <laughs> doesn't? Who doesn't? I said if it make her feel how she want to be. She wants know, two two dicks at once. If, if it make her feel worse, DP, okay, she want to get DP'd. Let her have it. More power to you, sis. I ain't, I ain't against it. I'm, I'm sorry, saying. goddess. More power to you, goddess. She's a goddess. Queen. Yeah. It, it's about what you're the queen of. I watched this show. It was a show. Dick's right. <laughs> exactly. It was a show. Uh, uh, but she's still royalty. Y'all know Jason Momoa. Yeah. yeah. All right, he's on this show on Apple TV uh, called uh, See Where Everybody's Blind and shit. Mm-hmm. And the queen, like, ha- she would pray, but when she would pray, she would always masturbate. What? Yes. Huh? Yes. And so when I saw, you seen the show? Oh, I watched it. Yeah. Yes. So she would always yeah, masturbate you, you or get somebody to eat her you pussy. Eat her pussy while she's praying. Like while she's praying, she'd be like, oh, Father. And like, by the time she done with the prayer, she didn't, she didn't have the big O. You get what I'm saying? What? So, no. so the lady. What the fuck? So you yeah, are. we haven't heard of this one. <laughs> it's a good show. It's, a good show. it's called C. C S E E. And yes. and, and that man is fine. I'm tuning in. I'm but, tuning in but tonight. But maybe that's what this woman. Maybe that's how she. That's her religious experience. Hmm. It's a positive spin. Because it's like. Slick hmm. say that's too much work. <laughs> Maybe that's you got a lot of you got a lot of all gotta be multitasking like a motherfucker. Honestly, they say that the O is she so powerful that if you're if you're thinking something or manifesting something while you're having it, then it is more it's more prone to happen. Mm, that's what so, I was thinking. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, so yeah. maybe she's putting more power into her prayer by masturbating at the same time. Which is interesting. Uh, I might have to try that. Uh, yeah. I pray all the time when I'm masturbating. I'm like, oh, geez, so I mean, I'm manifesting. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I want the, the I eight, you know, like the BMW. Like, I'm, I'm, I want I that. that shit for the Powerball. <laughs> you stupid. Right. Yeah. yeah. Two billion dollars, <laughs> so I can pay somebody yeah. do this shit for me. I'm telling you, put <laughs> the power up. in there. Y'all gonna have God strike God ass down. Manifesting. <laughs> Like, that's not what I have it here for. So. <laughs> Imagine Your if hands he didn't give us together. hands. God gave us the best gift. He gave us hands, okay? And they're, like, perfectly, like, Man, perfect they're, they're perfect. Right if you don't have a man, area. you got a hand. And it's all good. It's really all yeah, that's good. that's a t-shirt. Mm, there you go. But y'all use roses now. Y'all use your hands. I haven't, I haven't used the rose thing. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. I don't want to kill my nerve endings. So when I do get, <laughs> start getting some again, I'm still t- sensitive. I don't want to just kill Are all that, nerve ladies? endings. Keep your goddamn roses to yourselves. <laughs> Keep your bouquets I heard they was amazing though. You know how and many women have shit. said to me, "Girl, you don't have a rose. You don't know what it's what it's giving." No, I don't. Mm-mm. I don't need it. I'm good. You want a break right now? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm on a, a nigga fast, a okay. nigga cleanse. That's good. It's on good. A, on a blizzard. Yeah, it's going a couple. Been a couple years now. Really, it's been a minute before I had sex with anyone. I haven't had sex with no woman either. Although it's probably a woman Why up next. Why you on a nigga cleanse? What niggas do to make you cleanse? 
Man. You like some Palo Santo? I had some leftover sage. nigga juju on my skin. Mm-hmm. Had to get okay. it up off of me. Yeah, we're just asking what the nigga do to make I, you want to cleanse the ass. Yeah, I need a fresh start. That's that a long story. That don't mean you're going to get fresh niggas. That's, Look, that's, that's right. right. You're going to get the same ass niggas that right. they like. Right. 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 Everybody who I meet now, they just been a straight liar. Mm. Straight liars. Maybe it's your type. Maybe it's your type. I'm going against type. You think you are, but you actually are not. You know why I say that? Because mentally, you think you're going against your, you're working hard to go against your type, Mm -hmm. but you're actually attracting the same type. Mm -hmm. Because you're actually, when you see a person, you don't necessarily go, oh, that's not my necessary type. You attract those type of people. You know what your type is. You know what you like to look for. It's like women say, I only go with a man for their mind. No, you don't, because something had to attract you to get you even talk to him. So there's your physical outward appearance that attracted you. You didn't know he had a good mind until you started talking to him. That's true. And some people don't have a good mind. They have their dumb as fuck teeth, but you don't know that until you start talking to him. That's true. So mentally, you're saying, I'm going against my type. But actually, (laughs) you're going exactly with (laughs) your type. Well, I'm definitely with not deviations. trying to. Some I'm people think to because they'll go from for a different physical type yeah. that it's a different type of person. Mm. But, but it's like it's just, they're, they're it's still the attracting same the person. same personality uh-huh. or certain traits. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Women, I ain't gonna say women. Motherfuckers are attracted to red flags. Motherfuckers are attracted so, so to red so flags. Like, <laughs> yeah. She she look like she'll stalk me. I'm gonna fuck with her. Been too calm, not how it is talking. I mean, you got some good. Mm-hmm. I'm not, no, it doesn't. I'm a crazy, People are fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm a crazy. That, that line, see, that's how I know she, it's, it's you. You're the drama. You're the toxic one. 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 You're uh, I don't like a whole bunch of like kids with different baby moms and stuff like that. I think that's a red flag. Younger, younger kids. I'm, like talking, if, about, no, like, I'm talking about what you. What a nigga need to be flag. warned about? You. Go oh ahead. me. Oh me. She's be a, honest. A compulsive. Oh. I mean, I don't know. I'm. I don't know what to tell you. Like I'm a Ooh, great person. You perfect. Ooh. I'm not perfect. Kill though. the cap. I'm not. I'm not perfect, but I'm. The a cap is person. dead. He just got murdered. <laughs> but I'm not being sexually active. That could be a red flag right now for guys. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be a red flag. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's definitely a red flag. So that's a huge, that's, that's a huge red flag right now. You're not fucking? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I wouldn't even so say it's a red flag. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I met, I met, I went on a date with a woman and she was like, you know, she's celibate right now or she's abstaining right now. And I was like, okay, I respect it. But that's not where I'm at. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's like, and okay. I, and I'm not, that's I'm not, that's I'm not that's trying to me. persuade somebody. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, cause, cause niggas, Niggas always feel like they can talk you into some shit. Yeah, I, I don't know. got the fucking patience. <laughs> I don't do that either. I don't either. Like, you know, my favorite is when uh, I'm saying myself in the right foot because God told me, I said, damn, I can't beat God, bitch. Uh, I mean, hey. what the fuck? Yeah. It's, uh, it's but something. when Literally somebody real. tells you Check, that, <laughs> you feel me? It's, it's usually, two, not, just two checks, it's usually two. not just closed off forever. <laughs> it's for you to up your game. Like, it's for you to up the seduction level. It's for you to up your We do all that and there's no chance we even get at it. You can do all that, and then the dude that come with the house with Casamigos and Waffle House, get it? He don't got to do that. He got to do none That's of that That's my shit. favorite. You so stupid. He hit you with a third, like 10 what you doings and hey, beautifuls, yeah. and I got to be there like, I'm trying to be one with your natural sis. Right, I'm right. like, hey, queen, all that kind of shit. This nigga like, hey, bitch, what you doing? I'm about to come over there real quick and got this Casamigos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm no a bro of a blunt. No pressure. <laughs> really? Really, CJ? I see this shit happen all the time. Like, damn, I don't hate I'm you. With you Hold on her hand and walk yeah. It's true, too, because you're going to be good for it. Yeah. Yeah. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I respect the woman's right to choose. Clap it up for you know a woman's what? right this to choose. You know what? This one is. This one is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Chicago Hollis said my red flag is a woman who make it all about her and a woman who don't believe in 50-50. Thank you, Chicago. Ooh, a lot of women don't believe in 50-50. Lot, bro. Bro. Mm. Yeah, wow. anybody that make it all about them is a red flag. That's a narcissist. What you think about that 50-50, though? Because I, in my in my experience, a lot of women... I ain't with that shit. I ain't I, with I, it ain't, either. Yeah, I figured she ain't with that. that percentage. That's her red flag, y'all. She don't want to go 50-50, <laughs> You know what, Jay's trying to find my red flag, Chicago, and it's not fair. Chicago, it's not fair. Chicago, it's not fair. She making it all about her, goddammit. <laughs> That's it. That's her red flag. That's her warning label. That's not true. You know why you but we don't do 50-50. You know why you don't believe in 50-50, right? Why? you put a lot, lot of emphasis on that hairy patch between your legs. Woo! You believe that is you believe that is 80% of anything that you need to do. Who, me? 100%. All women. 
that's not true because I've put I've, my and, my hairy patch is on the shelf. It doesn't matter. I got matter. that fine but china vagina. It it's the in the shelf, cabinet. It's but like when me you and take you. it off the shelf, you are gonna let them know that's the best thing. That's smoking. the best thing smoking. I mean, even if your box is trash, it should it's still be pretty good. Be. It should be pretty good, but I'm not fucking. You, Just for see? the record, it's still trash box. <laughs> but, but it's not about right. that, cause it's really not about that. It's not about what somebody else thinks about the box. It's I agree with me. that slick three one six. What they say? Earned is earned. Yeah, and we talking about fifty fifty when it comes to money, like paying earned, bills. How you earn it? <laughs> hey. I, I'm confused. How do you earn? How do you earn fifty fifty? How you earn? If it? you fucking live in the same house as me. And we eating and doing the exact same shit. Now I'm not a fifty fifty guy anyway, but I'm just saying. Are you not? Are, no, I, I'm I'm old school. I'm Caribbean. I'm the man. Oh, I you pay everything. I take care of the major bills. You take care of the children. But you gonna pay something. You ain't gonna. Okay. I'm not the guy that you sit. I pay for everything. Okay, you see, pay. I misunderstood. You don't take yeah. none of your shit. I'm talking about like I pay the mortgage. Right. I pay. You pay like fucking light bills and like, like the little the shit stuff under the roof. Yeah. I take care of the roof. Yeah, car yeah. no shit okay. like that. I major that shit. Too, yeah. But then you know. You know what I'm saying? What? But then she cheats on you with a nigga who can't give her $30. <laughs> I'm just talking from my experiences. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm the same, same thing with these guys. You take care of them, make them cupcakes and everything. Y'all say that shit all the time, and y'all don't know how to fuck a... I say you, like y'all don't know how to cook. Like y'all don't know how to fucking do none of the shit y'all be saying. Yeah, you do this fucking... Don't do, don't do wife shit for... Uh, and you're a girlfriend, sis. Don't do nothing. Fuck all that. Y'all not doing that shit in the get-go. <laughs> Just say, bitch, I don't know how to do it. I never learned from my mama. And I'm fucking undervaluing this pussy. And instead of just giving this shit up to you, I'm going to act like I got all this other shit in the bank and it's not in your repertoire. Mm. It's not. Y'all don't how cook. important is it for a bitch to cook shit. for you? Like, how important is it? I like to eat a meal. I like to right? eat. I'm a, yeah. I'm a foodie. Is that part of the 50-50? Right. After you fuck. <laughs> I got to eat. If I'm taking care of the house. Working, take care of the house. Y'all both working. I can't expect that a little. little so me, y'all both See, working. You're not cooking every night. Exactly. Because I, mean, I can cook myself. Okay, so I don't even need your ass to cook. Right. But I would like a who cooks. So if meal. we both cooking, cool beans. But don't put all that pressure on me. Why? Dope City Goddess says it's crazy that men still saying fifty fifty. Yo, shout out to you because I agree with you. Um, what the fuck should it be then? It should be, it should be, <laughs> don't say you got it. backup plan? It should be more call like 80 Call the fuck in right now. Where's the number? Yeah, call 6, it. 7, 8, don't 7, 4, 0, 98, 94. The problem 94. is, though, if, even if it's not 50, 50, even if the man is taking care of most of the bills, my, the, the, the problem is that you guys, are, are you guys willing to submit to that person who's taking care of you? That's the question. Yeah, how about I'm willing. This? I'm willing. I'm willing to. Absolutely. I'm willing to submit. Absolutely. <laughs> submit no, to you pay the bills. You know what? Right. not because he's telling you. Right. I'm willing to submit. I'm, I'm, dead, right. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. Would I'm willing to would submit you pay for to a, a date? strong a strong man, okay? Sure, not no yeah. weak. Would you pay for a date? No. Nope. Once we in a relationship, yeah. Like, when we relationship, I treat you, you treat me too. But when we dating, no, I'm not paying for shit. I'm not even, I'm not even reaching step my hand in my purse. Up. Call it, sister. I, yeah. said, I said the number 678 740 Dope City? Yeah, she's having a show. Dope City, call in. Conversation with peaches. Many to step your game up? Wow. Wow. Playing with peaches used to be. That's used to be. Okay. Oh, okay, because yeah. we, we I'm be fucking with Dope City, guys. I do my thing. Honestly, because men do need to step y'all game up. How? But I'm sure we all so, do. So I'm sure y'all don't, don't have anything to step up. See, see I knew you was going to say that. Right and Dope City Goddess, I'm outnumbered. So I'm going to agree with you. But we Call in. Don't have numbers. We're asking honest questions. Yeah. Right? The same men need to step their game Honestly, up. we all need to step, step our game up. We all got to step our game up. women not have anything they need to step up. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying both. In terms of. Yeah, right. 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 Hey, Dope City, call your ass in. How the fuck we need to step up? Look. I ain't letting you off. No, don't call me. I'm not letting. I'm not letting you off the hook. <laughs> so Duwan says, now nah, after three to four dates, sister, you should. you should chip in because you have to put skin in the game. Oh, after three or four dates? Mm, stop, crying stop crying, women, women follow, follow men's lead. lead. That's cap. That's cap. Y'all got a lot of fucking I will follow a man's out. lead who is capable to lead me. A stipulation. Who is capable to lead me. Y'all got a lot of men that y'all don't Hello? follow. Hello, it can't be anybody. And y'all be like, oh, that nigga's too nice. He do this. I need a little adventure, girl. He's too fucking boring. He and then you gonna me. make a fucking right. You gonna get the dug, nigga. That's that no little job. dick energy. That's that small it's dick energy. It's definitely not small dick energy. But it is. How many days it takes for y'all to <laughs> feel like it maybe goes somewhere? Yeah, how many days it takes for you to feel like this relationship is going somewhere you can I don't know if it's a, a, a number of dates or just a feeling or just a, a energy. Like, is it a number of dates? I can go with some, uh, one date and know that this person is, like, right for me right now. So the number of dates doesn't right matter. Right now, though, not future. Yeah, I don't know. 
See, and when so, you start paying for the dick. I don't even know if I have future in me, to be honest. Right. So, let me ask well, you this. How long, is a, how long is a relationship for you? My longest relationship? A couple years. Probably yeah. five years off and on. Oh, that's cool. That ain't, that ain't so, 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 all right, so yeah. we're not doing 50 50 no more, right? So, yeah. like, is it transactional? Meaning, like, I'm taking care of all of this. Like, the, is the sex, like, is, is the ass, is the face that I don't ass think up so. when I walk in the house? It is. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it, if it feels transactional, like, well, I did this for you, so you should have your legs open for me. I don't like no, that. No, it's like, thing. hey, I had a long day. Can I get some pussy? <laughs> oh, oh, well, well. You see these lights on? You see, these, you see that? You see? You can see watch me. This, watch see? this door. See how we go in now? <laughs> right. See, if, it, if it's too much of business, then you might as well have you a prostitute. At some point, you should leave a tip or take them out. So that's what he's saying about the ladies. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Agreed. You should leave a tip or take him out. Me? Yeah. 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 I just said I would take him out after a while. We in a relationship. I take he's saying if he's paying for most of the days, you can at least leave a tip. Oh yeah. Oh. 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 That's what I'm talking Please about. Don't this don't better. Don't city better be fucking Please you. Don't answer the phone and say hello. This is Miss Mr. Mr. County Podcast and CJ. What's going on? It's Peaches. Oh, it's no city. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, talk so, your shit, girl. All right, we let you talk ahead. How she messed up their game up? Because men cry too much. They cry too much about doing shit that they got to do anyway. Mm, like if you what? handle your business, if you handling your business and you paying your bills, first of all, if you single, you got to pay your bills anyway. You got to make sure your house is taken care of anyway. Oh, Women, what we do is we come in and we add to a home. Whether or not we come in and we cook, we clean, mm-hmm. we decorate, we help out mm-hmm. with the bills mm-hmm. sometimes. And anyway, mm-hmm. I think the problem is that most men, they're not picking the right women. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody's looking for something that's like delusional like nobody's being real mm-hmm. about relationships anymore so that's 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 the biggest problem yeah, that's, that's first true. off that's the biggest that's problem true. second yeah, of all when you get that. into a relationship if you come into a relationship with a mindset where you want somebody to come in 50 50 you already don't mess up right there anyway mm. because you 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 haven't even really got to know this person 50 50 like someone said earlier i think it was slick it's earned you not no woman is gonna be like, oh, I got you. Not no, not no smart woman. You you're not gonna just go into no relationship saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna take you out to dinner. I'm gonna do this for you. I'm gonna do you the best. You a man, cause that's the end. It's men like games. They play they play a lot of games. Women play games too. And that's not to take away from the good men. Women, it's a lot of good women men out here. There's a lot of good women out here. But in order for people to understand their position and understand how to play. You got to understand that person because everybody's different. Me personally, I would never date a man that says 50-50. Hmm. Every man I've ever dated, even even down to my husband, every even my first husband, my second husband, they all, all are pay all the bills. Even to this day, my husband paid all the bills. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm a boss bitch. I make sure shit is done, too. When he ain't got it, he can call me and say, hey, I need this, we need this, we need to do this, we need to do that. That's, that's, that's how you handle shit. If everybody is giving 50, 50, then what happens when, when somebody, if, if I'm giving 50, 50 on the rent, 50, 50 on the bill, 50, 50, 50, 50, then if something happens tragically where we need money, then where the fuck the money gonna come from? From the other 50 you ain't fucking spend. What are you talking about? The other 50. From the other 50 you didn't fucking spend. the other 50, goddamn. Because I'm getting ready to land my plane. So okay. Let me, let me finish. If you handling your business and you paying bills and you got the right type of rider with you, mm-hmm. he gonna automatically have shit already set aside and say, hey, look, I got us to whatever, whatever, whoop, 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 we gonna be straight. So it's all about picking the right partner. That's first off. Second off, this, this conversation is crazy that we having this conversation because this is going to show you how feminine men have gotten. Mm. Long time ago, men would have never brought up no fucking 50-50. Like, mm. that, that is that crazy to me that we're still having these conversations Long time ago, men used to community. slap y'all and shit, too. Evolution, sweetheart. But look, I'm not the 50-50 <laughs> guy, and I clearly said that I wasn't the 50-50 yeah. guy. But I'm saying, I like, I think men is more about the option of it. It's not really that you necessarily have to do is the thought of that you can chip in. You said we doing shit we have to do anyway. So if I got you and me in the same fucking house and we both use electricity, I'm using double the fucking electricity I would use when I was by my motherfucking self. So be yeah, I do gotta spend it, but that shit went from 150 to 250 <laughs> to 300. So you got to pay like but you wait. You got to case. pay like that's you wait. Oh, Look, wow. check this out. I don't have no problem paying for the shit, 
But if I'm spending on my bread and you're keeping your bread, how the fuck am I, when it comes time to do other stuff, what are you doing with yours? Are you are you paying for vacations? Are you putting towards saving for something else? Guess what? I don't know about yeah. nobody else, but what I can tell you, I'm the type of chick I like to invest my money. I like stocks. I like rent. I like that I too. like to put my money up so it can make more money. I don't believe no. that money sitting nowhere. So I that's be too. clear. Number okay. three, number three, <laughs> if you have the right mindset and you have the right partner and the right person, mm -hmm. then they're going to know how to move. So in essence, these conversations don't even have to be had. Like these are the conversations me personally, I've never had in not, not one relationship. I've never had a 50, 50 conversation with no nigga, just keeping it real. Cause, cause first of all, if somebody even approached me on that tip, that's a that's a red flag for me anyway. Cause that let me know, nigga, you petty as fuck. You 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 not coming up. You not coming out like that. And and cause me, I'm not no I'm not no cheap chick. But at the same time, I'm not no oh give me Gucci, give me Prada, give me Lucci, give me Gucci. I don't give a shit about this. <laughs> but at the same time, I like nice things. I like to live nice, yeah. and I like to invest my money. So uh. it, it that goes back to saying who you picking. Who is your partner? If you picking a bitch out the strip club that don't know shit, but she want to goddamn ride in a nice car, she want to floss and she want to buy for her girlfriends and she want to wear a Chanel bag and this and that, then that's your fault. That's not other women's fault who bringing shit to the table, who got their shit together. So why are we having this conversation? And I think that's what men do. They put all women in this box, especially black women. They put us in this box and, and God knows, don't look good like somebody like me. Don't have a fat ass. Don't be pretty. Don't 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 look good. Right. Then they put you in this right. box to where you want their money. That's not necessarily true. Most women out here, we get more, more money than men. We get money. But that's not the point. The point is we still want somebody who's going to be a man, who's going to be able to take our hands, teach us, guide us, show us the way. Ladies, y'all should be so lucky to get somebody like you, city goddess. Situation. Welcome to the Misfits of Radio Relationship Podcast. All right, I, I think call us saying, with all your relationship calling. tips. Yes. I thank you for calling. It. I, I get what you're saying. I get what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, because she's actually right. It's about the shout pickings, out to you. But the pickings are slim right now. Yeah, Julie, thank you. Appreciate for calling. Thank you for calling. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. But the pickings are slim. Like, I mean, for everybody, Listen, the dating I, pool is a cesspool. I the used to work in polluted. a bank, right? I used to work in a bank. Most people are living fucking check to check. Facts. They okay. broke. So like. Imagine a bro, like, you get, now, I respect her for being like, I'm not this Gucci Poochie chick or whatever, but it's like, Gucci -Gucci. all right, these regular niggas. Regular niggas. That yeah. are not making six figures. Regular shit. Which is like the majority of niggas. The majority, yeah. Like, how are they, should they not date at all? If you make making six figures, you still living with six, six figures. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But these regular guys with regular jobs, and I'm not like shitting on a regular job. If you make it $35,000, $40,000, should you not date? Can you not date people? Because you can't afford to to pay right. all the bills in the and house. And women love what say. If you can't afford it, don't date. Like, come on. We just like, saying. Do we all not want love? Have, is yeah, what I'm saying. Be reasonable. Here at the Misfits of Love podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Awesome. Yeah, we all do, but we all got to pick the right type of person or at the right level, I guess. I mean, but these kind of like it makes sense. A lot of conversations ain't had up front. No, we're not going to agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're not nice going to do that? So yeah. you can date down and that's fine? No, I'm saying we're not going to agree on the, on that, that's, the, yeah, that's the definitely specifics of the relationship. Y'all could be here talking all day <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. about <laughs> relationship in and out. I know, right? right. And we got to come to Because we all have we our hands <laughs> Relationship radio. And I don't think people realize that when you when you start out, when you're born, you have an empty slate. And as you go on, people Im impose things on you. Oh, yeah. So your experiences yeah. actually lead you to how you think. True. So you get what I'm saying? So... We all think Based differently. On our, our we all lives. have our own yeah, different exactly. experiences. We're all not going to agree on one Thanks. in and out. So that's true. We need to move on. Yep. <laughs> we're not going to agree on one in and out. Right. We're, not okay, gonna, then. we're not going to agree on one in. <laughs> Thank and you out. for the misfits of relationship <laughs> moderator right. over here. Get yeah. us back on track. Get us back on track, man. Right. That's all. That's what I'm to the misfits. You let that shit run. This is why I let that shit run because it's going crazy. All right. Return to the misfits of comedy podcast. You do need to let it run though. Like you just got to know when to cut it off. That's all. You need to learn that part. Yeah. Well, she took it over. Santa La receives is receiving backlash for from the transgender community because mm. Dave Chappelle's hosting this weekend. Yay. Dave's they on be. this Saturday mm -hmm. and they losing their shit. We love you, Dave. And you know why they're not gonna do shit about Dave Chappelle? Uh, they're not gonna pull him because gonna that show ratings. fucking exactly. 
Because of what? Nobody watches fucking Saturday Night Live. They said they got their first transgender cast member, so they was like, oh, it's a slap. Is it a writer or a cast member? It's a cast member. It's a cast member, yeah. But uh, I'm sure they're not tripping. Honestly, he cleared up all that shit. He cleared up all that when he did his stand up special after that. So I don't understand. But what's real is a lot of them were critical of it after only reading shit about Mm -hmm. it. They didn't actually watch watch it. shit. I've talked to at least three people that were like, he shouldn't have said it. I'm like, did you watch it? They're like, nah. I'm mm-hmm. like, well, why the fuck are you talking about it? Because they don't know. Because a joke out of context, like reading a they joke. Is, people don't read. They get all their information from Instagram and Facebook. No and that's so sad. That's yeah, so you got to watch this thing special. They don't read the news. Like, they, don't, they don't watch the news, but they don't at all. open up their phone and go to Apple News and read the columns. Mm-hmm. They don't do that. At all. All right, I got one more. If you an avid perfect. reader, leave I, a comment. I'm going to tune in to see Chappelle, though. But I am an avid reader. But As who's, am the, I. who's the musical guest? That's a factor. We don't know. <laughs> who's oh, the musical guest? Breaking 21, are they going? <laughs> I want to say I want to say Black Star. Black oh, Star. Oh, Black oh, Star. that's lit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, they got a podcast. And like, shit was dope. Man, it's like the production Sweet. value of that podcast, podcast is though. like God tier. And they got an album out of it, so I haven't heard it yet. Huh? Right. Oh no, no. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, this was God tier also. That's right. At the misfits right. of relationships in they comedy. They don't own the shit we own. You know? They not own the shit we own. We streaming right. in India, we streaming in Pakistan. Everything. Right. It's this gentleman named Palmer Lucky, a lead in the virtual reality world that's created the first ever virtual reality headset that will actually kill you in real life if you die in the game. The players must fight their way through a hundred floor danger uh, dungeon to escape a mad scientist's virtual world. The device is connected to the three explosive charges modules that's above the screen that are aimed at the player's forehead. Should the player die in the game, the microwave em- emitter, uh, em- emitter, sorry, would go off, obliterating the human's head, the person's head. Do they wow. want to make money? Like. <laughs> That's a sick killer. Like, don't you He's get in the business to make money? Like, who's gonna buy that? They won't have no baby mamas? Won't have no That's a bunch of baby buy. mamas about to say, hey, baby daddy, did you say I got you with your games? games? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but you know there's a show on Prime called Peripheral where I you put on the show. headset. Oh, okay. And you, you, your, I guess, soul or something transform to the future yeah, to another cool body. <laughs> and, but, and then, show, but in that Damn, body, you actually, shows. if you get hurt or hit, you get hurt or hit in real life. Yeah. It hurts, oh. actually. So, yeah. yeah. Why the hell would you want that? Very wicked and sick. When yeah. I saw that Oculus shit that's, that's going to kill you, I was like, who the fuck yeah, going to buy that? that? Yeah, Slick, who the fuck going to buy no that? Repeat, no repeat buyers for them. <laughs> right. Oh, at all. Wicked and you can't sick. even gift that to somebody. Like, you going to give it to them at the funeral? What the fuck? Right. Yeah, that's just... You know exactly the person. He would have wanted you to have this. Right. right. <laughs> like, what the That's fuck? That's so killing me that you don't, that motherfucker don't want you alive. Like, exactly. Really, really nigga? <laughs> hey, meet me outside. Right. You, owe me, you owe me five. What is it called? Oh, you said his name is Palmer Lucky? Palmer Lucky. Is What's the, the name of the game? Creator. Did it say? It didn't say. But, but you want to know some real shit, CJ? Yeah. If they... If they make a game show, I would tune in. <laughs> and it would have to be the yeah. highest rated goddamn <laughs> show. Yeah. Jeff Bezos, reach out to this guy. I'm still waiting for them to do Squid Game. So in real life, that shit be dope. I love that motherfucker. Hey, hey, real shit. People were doing hood squid game. Remember they did the shit. hood Olympics, Hell jumping yeah, off of crazy shit. <laughs> crazy. In Chicago, <laughs> <laughs> it should be perfect. Right. Hey, no fucking. Thing. <laughs> Not in last hometown. No, 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 yes. We'll do that shit in New York where they slap girls in the faces with. Yes, they can do this. That's the second season. They can take their turn. They can go to L. A. Yeah, some of them dudes in New York be savage, yo. Like the the attacks that women be going through in New York. They be mad aggressive. They be super aggressive. They're mad aggressive. Like hey, hey, you dead ass. Like dead ass, b. Give up the numbers, son. Dead ass, b. You know what I'm gonna be you hear me talking to you, girl? Hey, they ma. Be, they'll be aggressive about temper. You know, I don't mean to hold you. I don't mean to hold you, shorty. I'm trying to get your That's motherfucking true. number. You know what I mean? How many pairs of Tims do you have? Uh, four. Real shit. I was in uh and Camden. Him. I was in Camden, uh, New Jersey, four. <laughs> and I was outside of the club. I was with this nigga that's from Camden and one of my friends, and we were trying to talk to girls after, after the club. We were being nice. We saw the gentlemen. They would not respond. The nigga from Camden was like, "Hey, bitch," and she was like, "Yeah, what?" And I was like, "That shit really worked. This ain't PD, nigga." Yeah, that shit. I was like, "Hey, hey, hey, bitch." It didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get the same. Like you didn't, they didn't believe me. I couldn't. Yeah. I I ain't say it from my spirit. You got the glasses on? Mm-mm, yeah, that, the, the bitch ain't feel believable. Hey, look, hey, look, hey, I had good vision back then. Oh, okay, all right, all right. I can see clearly. Like, who's this nice guy calling me a bee? No way. Like, oh, that's cute, he got me a bitch. See, I don't like that either. We gotta get the, the self-esteem back up. 
You don't like all that? Nah. Being called a bitch? Nah, the women delegation got to get it together this generation. Do you, do you feel like it's okay if, like, if, if you like my bitch? Like, you like my bitch? I mean, yeah. It's not a big deal. <laughs> See, that shit is See? Like, the shit. word is not a big deal. It's the context. It's the hey, context. Hey, man, don't talk to my bitch like that, bruh. It's a teacher. Yeah. yeah. The context is very <laughs> It really is. That's why you get mad at Texas, because you don't have the context mm, of what they're saying. You don't got the tone. Yeah, right. the subtext yeah, of that right, text. Right. Real. That's the issue. Okay. All right. So if you defending you, like, yo, you ain't gonna talk to my bitch like that. Hey, look, you be cool. Bitch. That's fine. Interesting. That's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry she's being a bitch, but this is my bitch. This is why Corey Hope always say you gotta test nah. the word bitch out until she breaks. Then she breaks. <laughs> yeah, that's funny shit. Hey, yo, bitch, pass me the remote. She's like, okay. You're like, yes, I broke this bitch. <laughs> I broke her folly. She gave in. <laughs> and why does he want to call her a bitch so bad? See, Corey Hope Corey, is straight savage. I think what he said really about is. what you call it, mom. Oh, he was dude. savage for that. I'm sorry. Talk about his kid, like fuck that kid. He talked about Kanye's mom oh, like man. a dog, and the lady is that dead. I mean, come I'm on. Sorry. Was it? You laughed? I did. I ain't gonna lie. Because the way savage. Because the way he put it together, it was just like only this motherfucker could take it there. But I like I like motherfuckers that help me. He was like he started off saying, Well, if George Floyd died X, Y, and Z, what about your mama, nigga? He went he went off. He went yeah. He hit below the belt for real, for real. Oh man. He went off. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. R. P. Donda. It's also what you say. Definitely what you say. Um the Professional League XL, X, XFL has announced that they're no longer going to flip a coin. They're going to pick uh, who starts first by rolling dice. This is a true story. What's XFL? What's that? It's, a, it's, a, <laughs> it's like the lower version of NFL. Don't the rock on that? Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they say, you know, they're going to do a flipping the coin. You have your best dice roller come out and I roll need a fade and not a dice. friend. <laughs> that's, some, that's some hood shit. Rolling dice? You ain't with it. You don't know about none of that shit. Head crack. I don't know about it. Okay. You do? Let me find out you roll dice back. We're rolling dice in my classroom. What the fuck are you doing? You supposed to be. I mean, I'm making me in the back playing Snake Eyes. Are you, are you, I mean, I'm cracked or whatever. Yeah. This is what I educate. We need to have a moratorium on dice games. RIP, take off. Right, right. They back that. Y'all stupid. That's why I don't know how to spell it. That's why I can't write cursive no more. No, that helps them. I bring games into them that they really played in this real life. You know what I mean? So we can learn vocab and stuff like that. Yeah. Dice. How does that? Like, don't touch the money. Look, you done burnt your money. He's teaching vocabulary. I try to bridge the gap. Just explain it to me one time for the one time. Nah, because then I had to, if I tell you my secrets, I got to tell all the teachers that. I can't do that. I can't do that. I bet I try to bridge the gap. That's the whole purpose. She does it for the culture. Yo, nigga, I got. I made mad money in her motherfucking class, son. You would love to come to my class. I guarantee it. I guarantee you wish you was in my class. You you really do. We be having fun in my class. Ice skating, that's crazy. Yeah. What is y'all motherfucker doing? We doing open mic. We doing karaoke in my class. When is the learning? Yeah. <laughs> it's all about, it's all a part of the learning. Where's the, where's it's all the a part books? of the learning. Well, ain't no textbooks now. Come on now. Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. I forgot everything's on fucking board. We ain't got no shit. textbooks. Virtual shit. Um, I got birthdays too, but bro, give us uh, your social, your social media Oh, yeah. Stuff. Follow me at J-A-Y-M-A-R-1-0. Jay Martin. That's me. Yeah. What's up? That's that's your social. That's the only social media. Look, I got off. Listen, J Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When all of that fucking Confederate monument shit was happening on Facebook, I just deleted Facebook. Like, follow me on LinkedIn. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> no, not LinkedIn. Yeah, I, only only one I'm on right now is is Instagram, and I'm like barely on that shit now. But yeah. And what do you have coming up? Man, I'm hitting these open mics, man. I'm trying to get. Oh, actually. <laughs> Damon, if he's watching, he told me that um the next show that he does, you know, he said I got a spot. Mm-hmm. Oh nice. Next one doing like January, let you know something's going on. Yeah. Well, yeah. Whenever that shit is, yeah. You'll be follow in me show. on my Instagram. <laughs> I'll post it on my That's story. That's right. Say it with your chest. Say you it with know, your chest. No, but yeah, just uh continue to grow, learn, network, meet folks. Like I met you. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Just being in the spot. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm out. Canceled, cause I was ready to smoke that bitch. Oh, that's when you met him at? Where yeah, the show? at the okay. show. It was canceled. Yeah. Like, they was like, yeah, we talked to y'all real quick. <laughs> so the show's canceled, but you still get paid. You still get paid. Hey, a win yeah, is a win. For me. A win yeah. is a win. Right. Which I was, it was a dope little room, though. I was like, man, I was ready to fucking kill this shit. Because it was hella intimate. Intimate rooms are the best. It was a really fucking. nice room. It's the best room to fucking work. It had really nice chairs. Mm-hmm. I was very comfortable. Yeah, it was a nice little room. The show was over. Nice feng shui. Okay. What you got going on? What's, what's your socials? They well, socials, you can follow me at African Pinup Girl on TikTok or Insta. 
Next up, I'll be doing a show with your boy CJ Trowers on December the 9th. So say, oh, you changed to the 10th? Yeah. Same. I'm going to be at the show on December the 10th. Let's do it. Save the In date. In the audience, rooting for these Save two. Save the date. Let's Actually, go. Actually, you can do Can you do clean? I cannot do clean. Yes, well, you can. I, I can't can do clean. I, I can do clean. I can do clean. I just will just not clean. curse. I'll just not curse. No, the content got, can't be no such. It can't be blue material, it has right? To be shit you can say in front of a, a room full of kids. Disney type shit. Yeah. How 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 much? Disney how much type time? shit. Ten to ten minutes. Oh, I ain't got ten of of, of non blue. <laughs> yeah. I'm a blue nigga, man. Give them five. Like, <laughs> I, I am too. You know how hard it is, man. I gotta do forty five. That's that's something that feels special. Man, clap it up for this brother you doing do 45 it. You minutes? Oh, my God. Yeah, two hours. She <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some karaoke in there. You want me some karaoke in there? Damn, them people don't want to hear that shit. They Every time I try to write a clean joke, yeah, I end up jokes. dirty in that bitch up. <laughs> Every time. I always start with the best of intentions. And you got to like, think about your audience. And I'm like, that's, it's like, but with me being so new, it's like still just trying to make things funny. I mm -hmm. think once I get to a point where, like, then I can just write whatever. Yeah, when that part right is now. easy. Yeah. As you get, oh, as you get through time, you develop your voice. Someone yeah. told me that I was like, "What the fuck does that mean?" Now I get it. <laughs> you develop who you are, and people understand what they're gonna get when they come talk. Yeah. Same thing with an author, right? You develop right. your own artistic voice, and it's the yeah. same thing as a comedian. Yeah, I'm still finding my voice. My voice got a lot of motherfuckers in it right now. Yeah. You oh, wait shit. a minute. Yeah, a lot of shits and motherfuckers. Oh. oh. That'll work, bitch ass Nick. Oh, sorry. hey mom. <laughs> How long you been watching? <laughs> I just realized my mom was on. Hey, mom. Hey, it's Mrs. Trousers. Trousers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, I don't know your last name. You messed up my whole last name. <laughs> See, this one. Trousers. Jesus Christ. All right. Yeah, I'm ready. I got the birthdays. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. November sixth, yeah. you got actor Ethan Hawke. Okay. He turns fifty. There's a birthday party uh, happening November eighth. Actress Alfrey Woodard, fuck love her. Shout out to Alfrey Woodard. She I turns seven, love her. Dope, dope, very dope. She's on three. Yeah, she's on three. She ain't yeah, that one for her. Sorry, mama. I wish. I wish Alfrey Woodard was here. Oh, wait a minute. She deserves to get her pussy eaten on camera. You got an Alfrey Woodard fantasy. I mean, all black women deserve to get their pussies eaten. Matter of fact, in general. Why are you bullshit? Hey. You got a woman king? Go see the woman king. If all the Davis gets her pussy eaten in that movie. After that, the whole movie. That, yeah, he's so stupid. That's how she ever became king. He's stupid. Ellen Davis, she earned her throne. She don't have to pay 50 50. She deserves to get her pussy eaten. Okay? 50 50. Fuck that. Deserve. You was, you was doing your motherfucking thing. Like, she got hers, but he didn't get his. <laughs> right. It's not 50 50. All right, SZA, <laughs> uh, singer SZA is uh, 33. November 9th, Pepper from Salt and Pepper, 58. Then you got a star on the Walk of Fame. Yeah, but no, the Salt and Pepper. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a new crush. Yeah. Scarface, my man. Scarface, uh, uh, 52. Cisco, Mr. Thong, 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 turns 44. Uh, how old? 44? My God, how long ago was Drew Hill? Oh, uh, November 10th. He's a teenager. Sinbad, November 10th. He's trying to see him. Man, hey, he had a stroke, man. Clap it up for that legend, man. Fuck that guy. Sinbad, bro. Yeah, Sinbad had a stroke, man. Legend. <laughs> He was so good, I didn't even know that he wasn't cussing. He just funny. <laughs> I didn't know that either. He, he was just hilarious. One of the best I ever did. Man, I've watched him with Charlotte. Facts. Facts. Yeah. Um, Happy birthday. Me and Tommy Davidson. Another fucking shout out to Turns 59. Um, my guy, another motherfucker I'll never work with a lot of people. I want to say that about, but this dude right here, he's a, he's a little intimidating. Michael Jai White. Uh, he's born. Yeah. He's born. He's a big, he strong Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he work out. That motherfucker's still in shape. Hey, he, 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 uh, Tracy Morgan. Man, blessed to be here, man. You guard from the Wu-Tang. Slim Doodle make us stuff in Saba Java. That nigga is 52. Wu-Tang is for the children. What? Warren G. He turns 52 as well. 
Alright, I mean like, jeez. She turns 44. Alright, November 11th, we got actress Debbie Moore. She turns 59. Yeah, please. 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 That was like the first dress I saw on TV. Shout out to the first dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, strip tease, Demi Moore. So rewind it a lot. It was on VHS. So was Halle Berry and something? Monster Ball was older than that. Oh. That was 01. Okay. Right. This is the 90s we're talking about here. Okay. Sure. Strip tease. Go, hey, go stream strip tease. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio turns 48. Mm. Uh, okay. I thought so too. Uh, November 12th, Tevin Campbell turned 46. I definitely feel like he should be older. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, when he and Omarion. He turned 30. Oh, Mario, I'm 38. That's believable, though. Wow. Just to touch and whatever part of the song. Icebox. I love my shit. Yeah. Icebox is a dope, a dope yeah. uh, breakup song. Um, yeah. All right, you guys. Uh, thank you, America. Uh, American. After America. You pick up, I never <laughs> renamed your whole continent. After you get picked up, girl. Uh, thank you for joining us. And then we got my man, J Martin, right here. <laughs> J Martin <laughs> coming through. Um, if you guys missed the show, you can watch the replay on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Stitcher, SoundCloud, MixCloud, uh, shit, Google Play, mm -hmm. iTunes, Facebook, uh, Misfits of Comedy, Instagram, Misfits of Comedy, all one word, Pandora TV, what's it, Amazon Music, mm -hmm. and Roku TV. Mm -hmm. All right, I Give think I, I think I got CJ all the of the list. motherfucking lists because that list is getting longer and longer. So it's yeah, absolutely no up, reason Skin? for you to say you haven't seen us. You can't watch it. And then the other shit. My girl. Skin, what up? All right, so <laughs> see y'all next Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Same bat time, same bat channel. Yeah, be easy. Hey. Peace. Peace. Siege monstrosities, 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 Promise y'all not to overthink. In 2020, I'm ready to hear what old thinks. You get a truth, you get a truth, nigga. Ironically, you phone it in when you in the booth. I'm Clark Kent, super grown suit, giving y'all the news. Or the news, you can choose, I don't ever lose. Time's up for the silence, domestic violence. I think it's resentment against vaginas. Cause you want back in it, you keep trying it, implying it with bullshit, cornball entitlement. That male ego is pretty fragile, ain't it? Like yo, he dope, but won't congratulate him. Don't do a feature with me if you don't want me to feature. The features I'm featuring, I'm hungry, I eat you niggas, I teach you niggas. Boy, got bars is what I say to them. And then boycott y'all niggas like H&M. Coolest monkey in the jungle, huh? This is rap, no mumble.